Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are live from Austria and this is a very cool knife that I got here for review. This is the uh, <laughs> Exklusiv Schnitzmesser von Herberts. So the exclusive carving knife from Herberts. And this is the box and if you turn the box around it's codenamed Butterfly. So you can see right here and there's a good reason for that because <clears throat> if you're unsuspecting <laughs> or you're suspecting a carving knife in here this is the sheath that it comes in very cool little tactical so side carry and if you open it boom there you go a balisum so very very cool i played around with this knife for a little while and you can of course completely open it one-handed Woo! and there we have it looks pretty awesome on the blade it says c julia herberts aisi 420 and then the article number which by the way is 254423 if you want to order it um, the reason why I'm showing you this here from Austria is uh, these are illegal in Germany. So if I would buy this knife and take it over the border, I would be a criminal because I, um, I Ill illegal imported it. And therefore the weapon bans are pretty strict in Germany. And yeah, it would be bad. So I don't own it. I just have it here for review. And this is how it looks. Very cool black satin finish. I hope this shows up on the camera. And just to give you a few details about it, the closed length is 13.5 centimeters. And if we open it, like so maybe, the knife or the blade length is eight and a half centimeters and for the overall length it's about 23 centimeters like i mentioned before the blade is made of 420 so if you are going to carve with it don't expect it to hold an edge for very long <laughs> but i don't think that anyone who owns this is really much doing a lot of carving this is more as a um, as a presenting piece or for self-defense, if you will. Um, yeah, the knife, the blade is shaped very cool. So you can see here from the top, the spine itself is very, very thick. So it's a sturdy knife and to the point it tapers pretty strong. So if you stab someone with it or something, it's gonna penetrate really deep. You have an almost straight back um, a little bit of belly right here and well I don't know how the factory sharpness was but it's not super sharp at the moment um, just for the complete review I'm going to show this to you well it's okay as you can see the cut is not the cleanest you might have ever seen but it's fine and as I mentioned before it's not really a carving knife even if it says it right on the box in your face so I'm just going to grab a piece of wood and we are going to check if this is good for carving or not so well doesn't really bite the wood so you really have to push it and assist it on the back well it's not as bad as I thought it would be but the handle is not perfect for that and because these legs spread and you tend to hold it like this or if you hold it in the front you will end up holding it like that uh, the guard helps it a little, but it's not the most comfortable grip. So 
keep that in mind if you want to use it as a carving knife. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to show you the details of the knife. And on the bottom, we have the locking mechanism, which is basically this, uh, this latch here. There is quite some play in all the, 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 uh, the joints in the handle. So this pin moves and these legs move and there is some rattle going on. If you lock it like this, you shake it, it's not going to fall out, but the retention is also not strong, so you can very easily flip this open. And of course, that's the intended purpose, so it's not a problem. And also, this little wobble in the handle is not a problem because once it's open, like so, it, it locks really, really solid. And that's because you have this bar right in the back. And this bar locks more or less into these little cutouts. There's actually some paint going off there. And it locks in like so. And well, there is, let's see, no blade play. If you have it like this, there's also basically no blade play from side to side. So the as you could say, lock up or the, the fix in the handle itself is pretty good. It's just the, the rattle and the overall movement if you have it like this in your hand and twist it around a little bit. But for its intended purpose, which of course would be self-defense, it will be pretty effective, I suspect. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Pretty cool knife. Very cool knife. Sadly, I'm not going to bring this home, but I just wanted to show it to you because it was too cool to pass on. So thank you for watching and bye bye.